Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. I am super happy to share this project with you guys today. Um, I was going over some of my photos of my children and for those of you who are new to my channel, I have four children, two boys and two girls and the girls are a set of twins, they are the babies they're 15 they just turned 15 then I have two older sons and um, I have been wanting the graphic 45 mother goose collection for quite some time and I was able to purchase it a few months back um, the mother goose papers really rung home for me because I was a big fan of mother goose as a child and then when I had my own children I was an even bigger fan and I used to read to my children every night and if I didn't read to them I was singing to them um, yeah they cried a lot <laughs> when I sang but nevertheless I did sing to them every night um, my mom used to sing to me um, I remember my mom always singing uh, and she was a big fan of Mother Goose and so that kind of passed on to me so I decided to do a two page layout um, a double spread layout of my four children and uh, I don't usually of late do layouts with the photos already on them I usually go back and put the photos in but I wanted some, I wanted one baby photo of each one of the four of them representing each child. And that's what I did. So there's a lot going on on these pages, guys. And hopefully I can share all that with you real quick here. Let me just get variety. Variety is my little pointer. And this was given to me by my sweetest and dearest friend, Vicky, here on YouTube. <coughs> So I started out with this um, teal paper on both both layouts and then I added this starry, um, I don't know if you can see that, that starry design paper from Graphic 45 and I did that to both, both pages and then I have this beautiful bright print here and I, I did that as a border and I used my scallop border punch by Friskars and I did that on both pages. And then I have this twinkle twinkle border strip paper here, little star. And I have that also on this page only and then on this page I have the mother goose border strip. Um, so let me get with this page. First of all, as you can see, I have these stars. These stars are actual, these are actually a Tim Holtz die. And this was gifted to me by my dear sweet friend, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. If you're watching, I love, love, love this die. Um, I have some stickers here. The you and the mommy and the when were all cut out using some lawn fawn alpha dies that I have. Um, so the title of the page reads, Will You Four? And the four is also a thicker. Um, and I have that in a little die cut heart that I have. Remember when mommy, and then the rest of it is down here, would read and sing to you. Um, each one of the children I have this love, love, love ribbon, love, love, love ribbon on each one of the photos. And each one of the photos has their nicknames. For instance, this is my oldest son. His name is Joseph Anthony, but I call him Tony. And this is Alicia, but we call her Allie. And this is Charles, but I call him Chucky. He's my other baby boy. And this is Leanne, but I call her Lily. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> so um, behind each photo, and I did, I have every single photo on, I don't know if you can see that, on some of this uh, foam tape that uh, New Crafter Bev, Beverly, has sent me. And Bev, look, that's all that's left of it. 
and she sent me some more and I'm so grateful to her for that because I love that and I've been using it oh my goodness then behind each photo I have um, I have a picture and this is why I'm saying this rang home to me so much I have a picture and I try to match the picture trying to remember each child's favorite mother goose rhyme and this kid right here he loved two of them he loved Humpty Dumpty and he also loved the uh, cat and the fiddle <clears throat> so I was lucky that they had a Humpty Dumpty um, uh, card and I will journal on this card um, reminding him of which were his favorites when he was a baby and how we would sit on the bed and cuddle before his brother came along of course <laughs> and on each one of these um, journal sheets or die cut sheets I have a flower and a little bling in the center of the flowers and I try to keep all the colors um, the primary colors um, they were bright and fun and pretty and I thought they were perfect for like mother goose school age here I have um, a border strip here I made some flowers using my diamond dye sunflower dye and my realistic rose dye and I made two flowers I have little flower centers in them I have some of those little postage stamps and here I have one of the um, stickers from the sticker sheets which I added that small alpha that came with the sticker sheet collection here is another one of those um, see now Alicia love the cow jumped over the moon that was one of her favorite nursery rhymes so I put that card behind her photo because that was her favorite and I'll write and journal about that so that when she's older she can read that and remember um, <clears throat> that her mom actually did sing to her every night and read to her every night and then on this layout here I have some more stars and here I don't know if you can see that I have some stickers here that say good night I did cut out the stars with regular cardstock as well as um, papers from the collection some of them I actually painted with my distress inks here I have one of those little mother goose postage stamps and behind Charles photo or Chucky <clears throat> here is a uh... oh my goodness I just drew a blank on this uh little boy blue <laughs> and actually one of his favorite nursery rhymes was uh, Jack and Joe and it was also uh, I think it was uh, oh man I am drawing a blank right now uh, uh, the one about the boy who stuck his finger in <laughs> the plum pie yeah it's been a while guys um, but he had he had a few more than a few favorites um, little boy blue come blow your horn was one of them and uh, Peter Peter pumpkin eater that was another one and I can't remember that other little guy with the and Jack and Joe he loved Jack and Joe I do not know why I think it's because somebody fell down and bumped their head and he used to crack up over that <laughs> um, so bedtime stories was a really big deal for me with my children I like I said I read to them every single night and that's what I wanted to lay out to portray more than anything else that um, when they were babies um, I used to sing and read to them a lot and I am a big, big um, advocate of reading to children and children reading so much so that um, it it carried on with them as they got older. Except with this one, she hates to read. All my other children love to read except for this one. <laughs> and um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, of course, was 
all of their favorites. And Rock a Bye Baby was all their favorites. Those were the two songs that Mommy read them the most. But hers, Leanne, was Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That was one of her favorites. And, of course, I will journal about that on this card that I have hidden behind her photo as well. Um, each one of the photo mats I have layered with cardstock as well as um, papers from the paper collection. And I really, really love this paper here. And here I added another postage stamp, some more of those flowers. And this is also from the paper collection. This was actually one of those journaling cards as well as this one. But I wanted the songs, the words of the songs to um, show on the layout because of all the songs that I think I sung to them, these two were the most popular ones. Um, and the cow that jumped over the moon they would make me say that over and over and over. So these are my four little angels. And this is a layout dedicated to my little angels and our nighttime um, rituals, which was the reading of the Mother Goose stories or and the singing of the Mother Goose rhymes and songs. Um, I love Mother Goose. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mother Goose, for bringing me such wonderful, wonderful memories of my children, um, of them being little and grabbing onto my ear as I sung to them um, their lullabies. I really, really love this paper collection. And I hope to do a whole bunch more. I um, finally started getting into my layouts again. I have so neglected them. Um, look at the smile on this kid. Can I tell you? Oh my goodness. And I believe she was a year, almost a year old in this photo. Not quite. Do you see that head of hair? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then... Look at this little guy. I can't tell you how long ago that was, but he used to love to sit on mommy's dresser and play. I had this like little Capa de Monte um, little figurine and I used to put all my, um, sometimes my jewelry pieces, little odds and ends. Um, and he would just love to go in there and dig in there and sit on mommy's dresser and he, if I'm not mistaken, each one of them were about a year to a year and a half in every single one of these photos. So that's my double page layout of using the Graphic 45 Mother Goose paper stack. I hope you have enjoyed my share. Uh, thank you all for coming by and listening to my little stories as well as... Uh, looking at my projects. I hope you all have a blessed weekend and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.